Hello and welcome to another come photograph my candles with me type of video. Um, today we're going to photograph my fall of 2023 um, new fall candles. I have quite a few fall candles, um, but I have three new ones and we are photographing them today. Um, and yes, this video is a voiceover and um, please bear with me. I'm not very good at this. So as you can see here, um, I am photographing my Hello Gorgeous candle. This is my version of like a, a pumpkin spice, but it's actually quite buttery, um, more of like a pumpkin dessert kind of thing. And I've just, I wanted to keep it simple. Like I wanted it to feel like fall, but not like a pumpkin patch, if that makes any sense. So I've used a... Um, an orange backdrop and a brown backdrop. I like to mix them. You don't necessarily have to, and you don't even have to use backdrops, but this is just how I do it. Um, you can see me taping my branch <laughs> to our buffet table. Um, you know, sometimes you just really have to get creative here. Oh, I guess I wasn't taping it before. Anyway, um, I'm just using a wood slab because it feels nice and fall like and then the plants or the leaves that I'm using and the pine cones I just got those at the dollar store none of the things I use are fancy and there you go there you have it I love it it looks super cozy and now I really really want to light this one and next we're gonna do the wax melt um, I like to keep my candles and wax melts like the photos um, with the same vibe so I tend to do the candles first and then I kind of just throw the wax melts in there afterwards yeah wax melts I find really difficult to photograph just because they don't stand up on their own and I have to use this clear acrylic stand type thing um, which will be linked down below um, yeah see things just they just fall over all the time and it just it's it's a pain sometimes but I figured it out in the end um, here's the photo I kept all the leaves and everything the same but I just moved the one wax melt down it looked really weird on top um, the one that's upside down it was on top originally I don't know it looked too weird and I, I really like how it turned out this is where I got a little confused as to what I wanted to do I feel like hello gorgeous was the only scent that I had a good understanding of like how I wanted it to look um we're doing poison apple right now so in my head I was thinking poison apple well, who gives out poison apples witches you know so how can I make it feel witchy so I found this cauldron at our dollar store and it was five dollars and it's actually glass and metal and I absolutely love it and I really wish this had worked out. Um, I'm going to show you two different versions of photos um, because this first part that I'm doing here that didn't work out so I thought you know what I'm gonna change it up and that also didn't work out so then another day I had to take different photos. Um, so I'm just using some string lights. I will try to find those on Amazon and link them down below because you can change the color, the intensity, um, they just, they do so many different things. So I put those in the cauldron and then I use the same stuff that I use, um, for like clouds and things like that as like smoke coming out of the cauldron or, you know, things bubbling out of the cauldron. And then I wanted the lights to kind of, you know, move all around the photo, but it just, it just wasn't working out. All of these little lights are on a wire so you can bend it which is great because you can get things you know you can move it where you want to um, but if you you know use it a couple times then it's going to be a little warped and like bent out of shape but um, my workaround for that is to use just regular tape um, and just tape things down where you want them to go sometimes you can you know bend it um, I just clearly this is where I decided I don't like this layout I even tried to use a selenite um, candle holder in the back to add you know like crystals witchy that kind of vibe um, 
yeah, you guys, this one, it really, really stumped me. And um, the next layout or the next way I try to take photos is not any better. I'm telling you, it's, it's a bit of a disaster, but we got there in the end. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a scene that looks and feels smoky, but like a little bit ominous. So you know how in um, Disney movies, like all of the evil people have something green, whether it's like their magic is green or their eyes turn green. Um, I think maybe that's just the millennial in me that grew up on nothing but Disney. But to me, green is like, ooh, evil, you know? Um, so here I'm just trying to create that like smoke effect. Um, you can't even really see it <laughs> like right now looking at me doing this you couldn't really see it um in the photos you also couldn't really see it but this is why you guys you have to try different setups like you're there's a very slim possibility that you're going to get it right the first time around um that's just the way things go you gotta get creative and try different things so if you look in the middle of the clouds, you can see that I used one of those clear um, acrylic risers and that's to make it look like the candles floating. I was kind of going for the same vibe of like my dreamland candle where it looks like it's floating in clouds and you know feels kind of airy but I wanted this to feel a little more ominous. Um, I believe the photo is coming up soon in three, two one there it is i mean listen it's not horrible but i also don't like it like maybe i might use it for like a quick little instagram post or whatever but um for like my main image it just wasn't it so today as i'm recording this i made a new one so i actually the scent is caramel apple so i made a caramel apple and decided to do it this way and I I really like the photos a lot more it just looks clean and yeah I just like it and now we're moving on to my sweet revenge candle so okay I I had the same issue with this one where I wanted to go dark and ominous um, but it just wasn't working for me I wanted this to be kind of vampy um, a little like fatal attraction kind of vibes, but I just, it, it was not working. Um, ooh, these dried flowers that I have, the, like, the light gray ones, those are from Michael's, and they were on sale, and they were super cheap, so if you're looking for florals, go to Michael's and see if they have a sale, because when they have a sale, they're amazing for fake flowers. Um, the other ones that I have, the black ones, those are just from the dollar store. Um, yeah, I kind of just bunched them together in a bouquet during Halloween. Um, so yeah, use your Halloween decorations if you're doing holiday, you know, Halloween themed candles. So after looking at it, I realized it just looked like a really crazy bird's nest and it was not cute and not the vibe. So we took it apart and tried something different. I felt like the florals with the gray backdrop and they're they're all matte so if you're trying to photograph with like a matte black good luck to you because it's a light sucker and everything else will look overexposed while the matte black just looks like a black void um so I do not recommend unless you're gonna be like really diligent about your lighting um, so I thought, you know, if I have a red background, maybe, just maybe, that'll make things look a little bit different, or it would help a little bit. Um, I definitely liked the vibe better, because, you know, I'm clearly a little more picky with the placement of the flowers, and I liked the contrast of the black and the red. But once again, I just, I didn't have enough flowers, I didn't like it, it felt really claustrophobic almost. It kind of felt like um, Moira Rose from 
uh, Schitt's Creek. You know when she does that crazy movie about the crows and she's like in the crow's nest? I don't know. The, at least the first um, setup was definitely giving me those vibes, but then I couldn't get that out of my head. Um, and just with the purple lights, again, I thought purple would feel like a little bit witchy, but it just... It was not translating properly, and I tried this in a dark room, I tried this in a light room, um, I just couldn't get it right. So eventually I just, I had to try again today, um, but if you want to see how these photos turned out, get ready in three, two, one, and there's the candle. Don't really love that. And here's the wax melt definitely do not like that. So today, we tried again. I decided to go with the same reddish, you know, like dark red uh, backdrop because it kind of reminded me of blood. Um, but I did go online. I went on Amazon and I found these black roses. Is the quality okay? Look, it's not great. Um, but in a pinch, it will do. And I just, I got black roses because I still wanted to, I wanted it to feel kind of like creepy and eerie, but roses to me are like romance, you know? And who else would you seek revenge on than like someone who wronged you, you know? I wanted it to feel like jilted lover kind of thing. Um, so here I am just trying to bend them into shape. And these flowers had like, it just seemed like the strings of like a hot glue gun um yeah so I had to go in and like pull all of that out and then I just rearrange the flowers a little bit and then I just lit the candle and here's the photo and there it is um it just feels a lot more clean you can see the flowers you can tell that they're roses the red pops the purple pops yeah, that's it. Okay, and now on to the last thing, which is the Witch's Brew uh, wax melt. I already had the Witch's Brew candle. I'm not exactly sure as to why I never had a wax melt. I'm pretty sure it's because um, I just hadn't brought wax melts out um, when I first had Witch's Brew and I just never thought to do it. Um, but this obviously witch's brew. I decided I'm gonna go back with the whole witchy vibes I'm gonna use this cauldron. I'm just like a, I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute and it was only five dollars and I just really wanted <laughs> Just really wanted to make it work. Okay And I'm actually pretty happy with how these turned out um, You'll see in a second. I did switch some things around um, while I was taking photos, but here's the photo I really like that you can see the green coming out of the cauldron. Um, I used some crystals, you know, a little more of a witchy vibe. Is it my best work? No. Does it get the job done? Absolutely. One thing um, that I've been really trying to work on this year is making sure that my perfectionism doesn't get in the way of me creating and getting things done. Um, so my new motto is done is better than perfect. And you can always go back and redo the photos. Um, but I just needed something to have on my website. This did the trick. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one.